your English, Lord Westbrook, that you say that you did not come with the warship? You reside in France? I have a home in Paris, but I often stay at court. Call me Simon, please. So we can be friendly and frank with one another. Not like the French who simply say what you want to hear. How is your engagement going? Quite well. We're very happy. Then why haven't you said a date? Little Charles and Madeline are only seven, but they'll be wed on her 14th birthday. France's commitment to Scotland is hollow. They're playing both sides. If you were threatened, would they really come to your defense? I believe that is the very definition of an alliance. But of course you need that. Well, I know this from one look at you. You're of age. You should be married. Are you proposing? Or are you trying to scare me? Pack your pretty friends and hopes of salvation and go back to Scotland. And exactly how long before England attacks in full force if I do that? I'm not going anywhere. Didn't the nuns raise a brave girl? Sent to them for your protection, as I recall. How was the porridge at convent? We thought it needed a little seasoning. A little something to make the flavor of our intentions clear. Oh, darling, you're missing the game. One-to-one's had seven cups of wine. Every time he hiccups or burps, we must have one ourselves. Simon, back at court. And very pleased to be here. I have another game in mind for you. What are you doing? Don't move. Don't push me away. You're shaking. You can't show them you're scared. He threatened me here at French court. He wanted me to know that they tried to poison me at the convent. He's heard things about my reluctance to marry you. Then there are worse. But I don't have your country's protection here. You do. There are dozens of English here, hundreds more camped on the coastline. I am at your side. We'll prove to them our union is strong. But it isn't. Well, they'll think it is before their visit is over. Can you do this? Absolutely. Can you?